Hey, Sausage Sleuths, it's me, the number one Sausage Sleuth show, finally back here for That's Right, Nancy Drew, The Secret of the Scarlet Hand, Part 3. We're here in the hotel room, and it's either 11.30 a.m. or p.m., and I have my notes from our last session, and I wrote... (laughs) scared me. Thank you for that, Diamond Lake, for that reverb fart. I wrote vision board. You're perfect. And You're beautiful. And you look like Linda Evangelista. You're a model. I wrote vision board and visit hospital. Because he- I think, is Henrik okay? So I'm going to go visit the hospital. Well, I think I can at this point. Oh, yeah. Eleanor Roosevelt Memorial Hospital. The red line. I'm, I'm gonna, close. Mama. I wouldn't be going north on the red line. I'd be getting off at. You're gonna see me getting off at Dupont Circle. I'm gonna go Kramer Books, and I'm gonna get a slice of apple pie. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna take, you're gonna get off the red line. You're gonna take a left. You're gonna walk down to the Dupont Farmers Market. You're gonna get a pan al chocolate. Please come back during regular visiting hours, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, it must be p- it must be p.m. Do y'all know why I didn't write? Do y'all know why I wrote vision board on this? I don't know why I wrote vision board. Hunka Majunka, thanks for that one too. I appreciate it. Why did I write vision board? You're gonna pick up, but you're gonna go Starbies. You're gonna, you're gonna get an egg salad sandwich. It said 10 a.m. I'll get up at 10. Henry, oh, Henrik wanted a vision board. He wanted me to take pictures. I'm gonna go talk to him though. I think I need to talk to him. I don't even remember doing that. It's been about a week and a half since the last episode. Life has happened at a very fast pace. And I feel like I've aged 20 years. I hate that sound. Judy, thank you. Yes, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Kick Out Boss, thank you as well. I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now let's go to the hospital. Y'all, don't start saying fast car by Tracy Chapman because I'll start crying again. <laughs> I was... T- if if you're watching this on YouTube, I may have put uh, fast car by Tracy Chapman on repeat today and cried in the shower. <laughs> you look familiar. Is it time for my snack? This is just me every morning when, when my husband wakes me up. That's just what that was. It's me, Nancy. It's me, your girl, Nancy. <laughs> Hi, Henrik. I'm Nancy. I'm we very... Beach Hill before your head injury. Beach Hill? Very. I am very delicately tied to reality right now. Beach Hill's museum Beach here Hill in D.C. Beach Hill a museum here in Washington, D.C. The curator's name is Joanna Riggs. You were working there, and that's where your accident happened. Do you remember anything about the accident? Joanna Riggs, is that the woman who called to pick my brain for an access code? What access code? Is the access code in the room with us? What access code would that be? Where in my poor banged up head would I be keeping access codes? I don't even remember my own birthday. So if you're here to squeeze me for details, you're wasting your time. Hair looking really like, I mean, not good, but like styled, even after falling off of a a fake Mayan pyramid. Um, actually, it's time to explain <laughs> Henrik's life Actually, to Henrik. Actually, Nurse Bluefoot thinks with Actually, regular visits, I may be able to help you get your memory back more quickly. How, pray tell, do you intend to do that? I'll visit. We'll talk. Visual aids. Nurse Bluefoot says that visual aids often help to trigger memories. Pictures? Well, isn't this nice? 
Come on, Henrik, you'll feel much better. Think of it this way. You just got back from a fabulous trip. You decided to look through postcards. Uh, how do we want to explain this to him? Oh, I have a Come picture. Come on, Henrik, you'll feel much better once things start coming back to you. I've got a picture with me if you'd like to give it a try. Fine, I'll do it. I don't show him any pictures of, like, things that he would know. I just start showing him pictures of my dog, who he's never met. I show him pictures of my house. <laughs> I show him movie posters from movies I like. Really? What now? should I post here? Oh, um. <laughs> Have a look at this ransom note. Have a look at this ransom note. Okay, here we go. These symbols mean the magician suffers yellow death. Your translator is sloppy. I should know. I am the author of the original work. Oh, I, I show him. I Photoshop pictures of me and him on a honeymoon that never happened. I say, sweetie. I stroke his hair. <laughs> I say, sweetie. Come back. Sweetie. This is us in Prague adopting cats. The author? What are you talking about? That first glyph is the fool, not the magician. Furthermore, any decent epigrapher knows those glyphs refer to the infamous plague of oozing hives. A fitting curse for a fool, don't you think? I rather like it. Henrik, if you wrote, th if you wrote this note... If you wrote this note, then you must have stolen the carving of King Pakal. Did you? I don't remember. I'm investigating. The Pakal carving is priceless. Let's go ahead and, like, semi-accuse him. The Pakal carving is priceless and irreplaceable. Not falling if off the stole, pyramid. This is your opportunity to come clean and return it to the museum. Who in the world is Pakal? Oh, my head. Oh, the pressure. I can't take any more today, Nancy. Okay, it's time for some memory therapy. Nancy, could you come back tomorrow? His eyes closed and didn't open again. Is he okay? Okay, I guess I'll show up to work late. Oh, yeah, I'm running the museum now. But that's just so me. Um, Joanna's been fired. You don't have to knock. She's fired. <laughs> Isn't she fired? Oh, yeah. Bloody stool sample. I remember this. Sorry. It's just, it's all coming back to me. Anything new on the desk? No, it's just the same old, same old. Okay. Well, I'm, uh, I better go. Uh, I'll go this way, actually. That's fine. I, don't worry, I, I do have, um, I have the recordings of me, uh, having, I mean, y'all made me do that. Y'all kept doing voice clips, and so I had to keep making Henrik fall. <laughs> Look what you made me do. Look what y'all made me do. That poor man. What should I bring him tomorrow? Oh no! Can I? I can't do anything with this now. I have to get the. Oh. Oh. <gasps> What if we talk to someone who's on the 405, taking the 405 to the 10? Ending up in Sherman Oaks? Heading to Sherman Oaks? Going on the WB Lot Tour? Seeing the... Wait, what are those things that are... We've. I think I asked this question in the very last episode. 
What are those things in the middle of parks that have roofs and they're like octagonal, octagonal? Gazebo! Going to the WB lot tour, seeing the gazebo that was used in the last season of Ghost Whisperer? Seeing the gazebo from the last season of Ghost Whisperer? Gazelle, not gazelle. I actually don't know what to do right now. Do I need to make some calls? Maybe I should check my... Well... It is, it's also the Gilmore Girls gazebo. And when the tour guide asked why I wanted a picture in front of it, he was like, oh, do, do you like Gilmore Girls? He named like four different shows that were super popular that he was like, oh, surely you want a picture because of this. And I said, no, I want it because the last season of Ghost Whisperer was filmed here because the lot that it was filmed on burned down. Is that okay? Check voicemail at work. Okay, that's a good idea. We'll do that. I said, Jennifer Love Hewitt? Allowing people to pass to the other side? Only got five seasons? <laughs> I said, only got five seasons? Her husband died and his ghost went into someone else's body and she married him? That was quality television. That should have been on PBS. I'm in one of those moods today, just to warn y'all. Just so we all know what we're getting into. 10 minutes in. I don't have any voicemail, which is upsetting. Um, go down the station for further questioning. Oh, that's right. Left my office open. I'll be gone for a bit. Run through the temple activity. So I still need to be doing that. But I, isn't there one I don't have access? Isn't there something I don't have access to right now? Oh, this is Amazon. Okay, hit your bin. Get your bingo cards ready. Hello. Sure, I'll buzz you in. Sorry, I'm trying to run a museum, and so I'm I'm buzzing in packages because when you run a museum, you can't you can't head down to the door yourself. You got to do it all from your your phone, and you have a lot of things to do. They didn't. She didn't give me an assistant. There was the antique store. Hit the bu the buzzer command on bingo. Can I call Joanna at the police station? Further questioning something about I I have time. Do I have time for this? No. I'm not sure I can talk to I'll, you know what? I'll go talk to um Old poop cookies. I'll go talk to old turd cookies. Hey, Widrums. <laughs> I had to wait to be buzzed in. I th she did call me, I think. <laughs> you know, old turd cookies. Wordy CNN, thank you for the four months. Great to have you here. The Great Catsby, first time sub. Great to have you here. I appreciate that as well. Thank you, thank you. I need a photo of the Pakal carving. Do you have one? Joanna took the official print for her insurance claim, but I have a couple extras. Here you go. I gotta show this to Keep Henny. Keep up the good work. Oh, thank you. Any news? Oh, can I have a, no. I'd better get going. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. And I'll go talk to, um, uh, the Mexican consulate as well. Great day in the city. Buenos dias. Oh, I should get I back, should actually. Get back I to the have to museum. go. Adios, Nancy. Uh, actually, 
I just remembered I have to go sleep for 24 hours so I can give this photo to Henrik. Oh yeah, that is in Virginia, isn't it? That's across the Potomac. Pentagon, now here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get on the yellow line. You're gonna head into Virginia, I know, but you're gonna go to the Pentagon City Stop. You're gonna go, you're gonna take a left out of the Metro, you're gonna head up the escalator, you're gonna enter in the Fashion Center Mall. They have a Korean corn dog place now. <laughs> You're, you're gonna head there and you're gonna get a Korean <laughs> corn dog because they are delicious. Oh, Judy, thank you so much. Yes, I remember this. I think I had to do that in the last episode. It is so weird to call outside DC on the hotel phone. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, I don't need to do it right now though. Oh, alarm, I'm thinking. Okay, now it's time for our second session. Diamond Lake, thank you for the bits. Barely <laughs> tied to reality is the perfect way to play Nancy Drew. That's true. Mountain of Joy, thank you for the bits. Not this. Judy, thanks again for the bits. I appreciate it. <gasps> Did a sheet of Scarlet Hand stickers. Not this. I love those. I have them on my bulletin board. Well, look who it is. Hey, hey. how y'all doing? Ready to do some memory work, Henrik? I brought you a picture. Not screaming at him. This will help you to remember. That face, he's as familiar as my own feet. Could y'all recognize y'all's feet in a crowd? Because I could. I've told y'all so many times, and I will never stop saying it. I have amazingly attractive feet. <laughs> Do you know his name? Pakal. Nancy, this is the stolen car. And I'm not joking. It? And I'm the one who took it. I must have. But I've why? Got... Oh, Pakal. What could I have meant by this? I've got secondary careers lined up for my feet. If you're remembering correctly, this is a serious crime, Henrik. You've got to tell me why you did it. I can't remember. Oh, I thought he would have more than that. Um, okay, so, some, idea, some idea of where to look next. Some sniffing out. Any scrap of memory you've got, Henrik. It's still in the museum. If I remember, it's kind of, so I know who did the crime. And I think he hid it from that person. I don't really remember. And it, well, it's in, the, it's in the monolith. Why would you break into the display case and steal the carving only to leave it in the museum? To protect him. I had to protect That's him. That's right. Oh, Pakal. Something is going on at that museum, a devious plot. I was the only one who could stand in the way. Is the plot in the room with us? Whose plot is this? Is it someone who's involved with the museum? Forgive me, Nancy, but when I woke up in this hospital bed, I didn't even know my own name. Perhaps the A only key. thing I can offer you is this key. It was found in one of my pockets when I was brought in. Do you know what lock it belongs to? I haven't a clue. Take the key now, Nancy. Find out what it opens and return to me, please, with some answers. I think he was pushed. But even, but even I don't remember. <laughs> he was pushed, right? You can count on me, Henny. You can Henny. count on me, Henrik. In the meantime, I'll sit with my friend, Pakal and see if he will tell me anything new. You must keep this to yourself for now. It's your only hope of getting to the bottom of this. Did you use Joanna's name last week to place an order for Cinnabar with Not all this. Restoration? You're asking the wrong amnesiac. 
Oh, he's doing okay, Soul Skater. He's fine. Do you have anything against Joanna? Who knows? Henrik, I need to know where you put the Pakal carving. I can't remember. Maybe I wouldn't have highlighted that message, Sassy Chef. Henrik, I need to know where you put the Pakal carving. I can't remember. Oh, I could just... Henrik, I need to know where you put the Pakal carving. You're asking the wrong amnesiac. We can get all the voice lines. Do you know anything about the theft of Prudence Rutherford's necklace? I can't remember. One of the pieces that was stolen from the Chaco Canyon Cultural Center was a jade carving with an unusual glyph on it. Do you remember translating it? I can't remember. Oh, my God. You rest up. I'll be back. I'll do my best. She's really berating him. He literally said he needed to rest and he was done for the day. And she asked him about 20 more questions. Well, I guess I'll go to... I need to eventually explore the museum. I am going to go try to go to the Mexican consulate again. Bread and Jam's 18 months, by the way. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. Great to have you here. Velvet Max, 10 months, you get your first honk. Thank you, thank you. It's great to have you here as well. Buenos dias. I should get back to the museum. Adios, Nancy. I do appreciate y'all. I, I just, one of these times he's going to have something important to say to me, and, and I'll be there to hear it. Glenn, thank you for the bids. I did. I post. Oh, my God. We need to talk about that. Because on the Nancy Drew subreddit, someone posted AI-generated live-action Nancy Drew characters. And let's just say the shorty one. I get it. Okay. I get it. He... It was pretty good. It was a pretty big day for Shorty. I saw I posted the link in the in the um, Discord as well. Okay, this key definitely goes somewhere over over here. No, okay, not there. Something in here is locked. I think, or th is it in the other place? She just doesn't, she just doesn't try the, the key with anything, huh? Oh, shoot. Does the, okay, dear chat, this is a dear chat. Does the key go to... Oh, the post was removed! Uh, I didn't know that! I thought it might be the desk. I thought it might be something boring like the desk. Okay, that makes sense. It's locked. Ooh, oh. I thought that was, um, whiteout, the whiteout things. It's locked. Come on, Nancy. Number stations. 20. Decoding the numbers. 20, 50. Ooh. One and two transmits a series of five digits in Spanish with each transmission starting with Atención, Atención. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. That's I'm all close. the numbers. Thanks for that, Judy. Write down the last three. So 2050. Why does that say, does that say 2051 and two? It's a really not a great font. Write down the last three digits. So, last three digits. And add a zero. 
Okay, well, we'll just do the... I'll just... Ah! <laughs> if the station number gives that, then the smuggler station is that. Put a zero. Okay, so that's the rules again. These are the smuggler stations. Six six nine one three equals nine one five five. Hmm, looks like I need to find someone who speaks Nahuatl. Anything else in here? Translation notes continued. Blessing curse. Does she think anything about this? Any thoughts? No thoughts. Oh, that says hurts. 2050 hurts. All right, that makes a lot more sense. Oh, it yeah. Did, did we briefly have 323 three viewers? Hiked with Big Bunny all day. Temperatures in the 100. Oh, ah! Water scarce, but high. Lind region is beautiful and pristine, except for bunnies' incessant. Comment or, uh, commentary. <laughs> that was a P. A quatzel. That's a ho o. -oh. Cross paths with old shaman. Old man told us legend that the highlands are haunted. Oh, this is this is the answer. This is the answer to the pure. Bad Bunny. Musician. I know a couple things. <laughs> Wrote an account of the Maya that somehow defamed Bacall's name. A mox Kali. I know one to two things. Disappeared with all traces, rumors, Pascal. Banish the scribe and her writings. Haunted the hills for centuries. Dignity. Banished. Ha. Ha. Ha ha. Without the unwanted outbursts of my foolish sidekick. Quite a tale though. Amazing that survived hundreds of years. Wants to smart small time smuggling racket to pay off his college tuition. I feel, I feel that. <laughs> I felt that. Oh, and I, I think I can go, yeah, I can go up and down. Uneventful, sun is hotter than ever. We return to base camp. Can't wait to be rid of my companion. Oh, that's fun. I didn't look at the bottoms of these. Okay, so I might have the thing to that. I need to do the disk drive. And then I guess I'll show this to, I need to, I think I'll show that to Henny. Oh my God, it's a big day for me. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty big day. For them. <laughs> it's a pretty big day for the ancient Mayans, but it's also a pretty big day for Nancy Drew. Just so we're all clear. Did I, is this the one I need to? Where's my card? It needs a card. C Christ. <laughs> Please tell me my card is It needs a card. Chat? Chat? Oh, scroll. <laughs> The fucking panic. The panic 
that I you panicked. God. Oh, God. Thanks for that sticker, Chase Relic. I appreciate it. The panic. If there are four items, it shouldn't let me scroll down in the first place. All right, so this is the one I need to... This is as far as I got. And one was a quiz. Now, did I do this quiz? Oh, my God. Yeah, I did. I did all of these. I did the ball game, the quiz, and the maze. It was this computer. Did I... Oh, that's the progress to the whole thing. Okay, okay. Let me look at that again. Sorry. Th they didn't develop this maze very well. I'm just going to say it. I did that. Here we go. The quiz is the last thing I need to do. Got it. Did the maze. Did the ball game. Got to do the quiz. <laughs> Looking for her phone. Oh my god. This girl in high school once. Uh she called she called her friend and she was like cr on her cell phone crying that she couldn't find her cell phone. Just actually like in tears. I wasn't around when it happened. I wish I had been. Where am I? <laughs> Th well, then this has got to be the quiz, right? I do that all the time, too. Oh, no, no. This is the maze. <laughs> well, can well, but then... Is that the quiz? Well, oh, here's the quiz. What was the name of one of S.H.I.E.L.D. Jaguar's names? What was the name of one of S.H.I.E.L.D. Jaguar's wives? I feel like Tracy? Or... <laughs> uh, I'm thinking Tracy? Or Melinda? Um, okay. S.H.I.E.L.D. Jaguars, wives. Secret of the Scarlet Hand cheats. <laughs> Shield Jaguars, wives. Okay, is this where I, this is where I got to that I couldn't try the door with your car. Oh, I did. It wouldn't open. It wouldn't open. The mouse sometimes gets stuck outside of this game. Oh, the nobleman. Oh, wait, wait. Do I still do I still not have the answer to this? I don't want to get past this. I thought I just found that I just found the answers to this in um Henrik's notes, right? Okay, that's what I thought. I, I don't do quizzes. I'm not in school anymore, so I'm not doing this. Just so y'all know. I have people to talk to. Oh, I just spelled it wrong. Got scared. Got really scared. I'm not in school anymore. I'm not writing papers. I'm not doing quizzes. You got the wrong gal. You got the wrong gal. Fun. Oh. Love. I wonder, y'all know that this is all, this is all made out of like styrofoam or something. Since this is fake. It needs a card. 
Okay, so the answers to this, you know what I was just thinking? I was just thinking, um, I remember looking at the exhibits a lot more the first time I played this game. And it turns out I was probably doing it, the ans finding the answers the right way. <laughs> You know, Kukul Khan, I remember him from, um, so he, is Kukul Khan in the Amazon Trail games? I feel like I've heard some of these names in some other video games. We did it legit once. Yeah, time to cheat. I will agree with that. God of tra traveling. I love to travel. He's in the new Tomb Raider games. That's right. Oh, and so is Eek, Eek Shell. Is that how you say that? Moon. Goddess. Balak. War God. Rain. Sun. So, corn. Corn. Eris in Wonderland, thank you for the bits, by the way. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, I hate stuff like this. When we when was in, I went to the National Geographic Museum a few years ago when they had this ancient Egypt thing. And I just, I just don't know about, I just don't know about mummies. Oh, this is like simulator, isn't it? Jade and the Maya. To the ancient Maya, Jade was a sacred. Oh, I thought they were talking about Jade from the Brats. Fertility and life-giving waters. So many cultures do jade carvings. Oh. It's locked. It's oh, it it's is. It's locked. It's locked. That's it's fair. Locked. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't mean to keep clicking it. I need to get one of these by going in here. Because what this is, is like a, um, is like a dying in, what are you talking about, Mountain of Joy? Mummies at the Met, a couple, of, I don't know about, I'm talking about, I don't know if we should be, I don't know about displaying mummies. I don't know about... Displaying dead people. Calendar puzzle. Uh oh. Hey, Shelby. I don't care what, well, I don't care what you do to the dead to a certain extent. <laughs> but I don't know about digging people up and then putting them on display. Something about that. I'm not here to tell ancient Egyptians what to do with their dead. <laughs> I'm not here to go back in time and tell the ancient Egyptians what they should be doing with their dead. I know exactly. No, I'm okay with mummification, if that's their choice. But sh but digging people up and shipping them around, that's the part where I'm like, something about that. Level three, calendar puzzle. And then the calendar puzzle is actually not here. I thought you were saying that I was telling cultures not to, to carve jade sculptures. <laughs> I 
thought you were saying that I had a problem with people carving jade sculptures. Not daddyfication. That's just another name for twink death. Um, I'm gonna go sleep for about 12 hours. Imagine... I keep accidentally going to the museum because I think it's the hotel. I don't sleep here. No, I don't want to be in a museum. Imagine if I came on stream and then like... And imagine, imagine I played the, replayed the Tomb Raider games. And just the whole time I was, I was telling ancient cultures what they could and could not do. <laughs> imagine that content. I said, it's time. <laughs> Don't pay to see that. Uh, something about that. Judy, thank you for the bits. Some fans believe Henrik's faking amnesia to escape culpability. But what does he have to gain from that? Oh, because he hid it? No, no. We're not sleeping. Did I set it for 10 P? No, no, we're not sleeping. Is he smart enough for that? That's a valid question. Uh, Mia has my 68 months not go back to France. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You are fabulous. It's always great to see you here. Pluto Vivo, thank you for that first time sub. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Bottom... Oh no, I've checked the clock multiple times, but it doesn't tell me AM, PM. And I don't know how to read clocks either. <laughs> so, and I also don't know how to read clocks. Oh, you know what I should be doing? I forgot about the disk drive. Sorry y'all, it has been a week. I should, I feel like I should have warned y'all. And so my brain is like in about 12 different places right now. We'll go ahead and do the disc drive. There's something I can do in Henrik's room. You mean tick, wait, do you mean tickle him while he's sleeping? Is that what, is that what we're thinking? Come on. A um, mox. What glyph is that? Oh, that looks like a Tamagotchi character. Does anyone know what glyph is that? I'm getting close. Thanks, Hannah. Is it the is it the full word? Oh no, you said a moxicillin. Fish? Not y'all saying stone. I don't know yet, but it is stone. Oh, I thought y'all were saying it's made out of stone. I won't let me see it anyway. The game has clearly has a safety to fall back on for that. <laughs> the game said you will not speed run this. You will not speed run this. What if I acted like that was my computer and I closed the stream and because I said I got a computer error?
Wouldn't that be so bugs? <laughs> Y'all thought I forgot about bugs. Oh, here we go. My home is Washington, D.C. My occupation is... My marital status is divorced. I have zero children. Allergic to chicken and bee stings. He won't even let me tickle him while he's sleeping. All right, Judy, you said there's something to do in Henrik's room. Oh, is that it? What should I post here? What should I post here? Christ, if I have to hear... Oh, oh, don't take it. I mean, right? Don't take that, right? What should I post here? Disk drive, last three. Oh yeah, 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 and the, the radio. All right, I'll come back in 24 hours. I don't want to do the radio yet. Riz Tabs, thank you for the bits. I do appreciate it. Hunkamajunka, thank you for the bits. Not this. I hope it's good stuff. It took, it took me an hour to figure all that out. <laughs> of game time, not real life time. Judy, thanks again for the bits. You had a customer at the register. Oh, I hate that. I had to call someone to ask them for their phone number. That doesn't make sense. Nancy, you have brought me back to my work. You recognize the riddle then? I've been working like a Bye, fiend. Diamond Lake. Look at the board. Oh, uh, yeah, what did you do? A curse upon you who beholds this terror. The evil deeds of the Whisper of Silent Secrets remain undead. Within this prison of stone, what? Broken only when the four corners of the world are banned together, when the first king ascends the throne again, when the last Something fool has labored till the end of time. This has something to do with the plot at the museum, Nancy. I'm sure of it. Who was this whisperer of silent secrets? The whisperer came from a distinguished line of royal scribes. I can't seem to remember her name. But I do recall that she wrote an account of Maya history that greatly angered Pakal because of the way it depicted his ascent to the throne. What did the scribe say? That Pakal had bad fashion? From oh. the age of 12, when he came to the throne, Pakal claimed to be divinely appointed the first true authentic king of the Maya. Then the whisperer came along and wrote that Pakal was only king because his mother pulled some strings. Nepo king. It was quite a blow to Nepo Pakal's baby. image. A Nepo baby king. How sad for that rich man. So he put her in a stone prison? Pakal swore that the Whisperer's words would never see the light of day. He put her body, her soul, and her writings all in a tomb and locked it up tight. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that was what? That was uh, Amok's Kali? Wait, Henrik, a prison of... Wait, Henrik, a prison of stone? We're not talking about the monolith, are we? That's the idea. Does anyone else know about this monolith that we paid thousands of dollars for? Does anyone else know about this? <laughs> Good question. I'm certain that there's a dirty rat trying to get into that tomb. This is where my memory fizzles out. If I could 
only figure out why I took the Bacall. This is important information, Henrik. Don't you think the police should be informed? Please don't breathe a word of this. There's too much at stake. Henrik. Wait, did she not get it? It's in the monolith. Henrik, I need to know where you put the Pakal carving. I don't know. Wait, I thought we just figured out that it's in the monolith. I don't suppose you have a Nahuatl word for snake floating around in your memory bank somewhere, do you? Who knows? Have you ever been part of a smuggling racket? I don't know. Can you tell me what the password is to your disk? You're asking the wrong amnesiac. Okay, you, you rest, rest up. up. I'll be back. Be careful. She, she prints off a bunch of snake emojis and puts them on the bulletin board. Oh, I need the carving to open the monolith. Oh, I thought it was hidden in the fucking monolith. Well, I would, uh, oh my God. How embarrassing would it have been to the ancient Mayans if they had locked the carving in the monolith? Cause that's like locking your keys in your car. That's like ancient locking your keys in your car. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. How embarrassing for the ancient Mayans would that have been? Squids in your kidneys, 18 months. I appreciate that so much. No! No, I'm sending you good vibes. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope the rest of your week goes better. Ugh. She just left the disc in there? Can I tell y'all, I found an SD card in my wallet that I definitely didn't put in there. And I'm not putting it in my computer. You don't find discs and then put them in your computer. Because that's how you get a virus. I don't know where this SD card came from. And I'm, in fact, I might have, it might, so when I was cleaning, do that at Kinko's. I don't want to. I would break it. Go to the library. Virus protection, it doesn't mean shit. Hackers. There's also a chance it's just like a stray SD card, because uh, from like, Justin's cameras. Justin does photography. And when I was cleaning out um, our, like, jumble dish that we throw our keys and our wallets and everything in, that it fell in my wallet. And I have a feeling that that's going to be the boring answer to, the, for, to that riddle. But I like to think of it as, like, mysterious. Oh, we heard, a, we heard about this. Notes. Bull. Greenstone. Prisoner of Stone. The Whisperer. Oh, yeah. Let's look at this. South. Art Appraiser. East. Bishop Diego de, de Landa. De Landa. Strange Shade Carving. Oh, what? No, no, no. Radio! Found jade carving with rabbit glyph. Rabbit was trickster. Could this be the full radio for delivery? Pakal. Crocodile. This seems like answers to the quiz. This. So once I do the radio stuff, I guess I'll understand this, and then I'll know. Password snake in Nuwadal. Ham radio station 2050. Password is oh, so I need to know that I need to know what snake is in Nuwadal anyway. 
Hmm. I hate that you have to close all the windows. Um. Not proof of aliens. Ham Ham Radio! I would play that game. Well, I'm thinking... I'll ask around for the word f for snake. I'll ask around. I'll go pick up some turd cookies. Taylor Lynn, 15 months. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Buenos dias. I need to know the Nahuatl It's always great to snake. see you. Can you help me? What do you need that word for? Uh-oh. Uh, I'd rather not say. It's part of my investigation. Now, if only I could remember the word for snake. I hear you have been a great help to Henrik. I wonder if you can help me improve oh, my God. memory, too. He's gonna make me do stuff for him. What are you, what are you talking about, what Alejandro? What are you talking about, Alejandro? I am almost certain that the provenance documents for the Pakal carving were falsified. I have asked Joanna to see the documents, but she evades me. If you can find that file in her office and bring it to me, I think it might help my memory of Nahuatl a lot. Google existed. First, you tell me you're unconcerned. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can only say no, because I would just go do it. First, you tell me you were unconcerned I would just go do about the theft of the Pacal I don't have party, any loyalty to Joanna. And now you have an urge to see the provenance documents? Is it just me, or is this a little suspicious? If I can determine that the provenance documents are a fraud, this will be the first major step toward legal repatriation oh, thanks, of the Napier. artwork whenever and wherever it resurfaces. Okay, Alejandro. I'll see what I can do. I feel my Nahuatl coming great, back to me already. Do you know what Siwapili means? Princess or lady. Now, if only I could remember the word for snake. I should get back to the museum. Goodbye. You don't have to do this whole charade anymore. You already told me what I have to find. Doing this whole charade. Uh, Hannah, thank you for the 35 months. He hasn't fallen down again. I think I did do that as a separate save file, though. So if I ever need to... If I ever need a little chuckle or a little pick-me-up, I can watch Henrik uh, fall down. Can I take this? I mean, I mean, Nancy just. Oh my God. How do I get out of, okay. I, I was freaking out. I didn't know how to get out of the, get out of the documents. I hated that. Okay, back to the consulate. Cosmos, thank you for the bits. Being mummy in a family heirloom. If you get turned into a gym, um... They could, pe you could become a family heirloom. And they might not even know that the diamond's Hello, made Nancy. out of a dead you person. You have a special delivery for me, I hope? Here's your file, as requested. Oh, you want the tattoos preserved. I should hand over the paperwork. Oh. Good work, my friend. I suppose you would like something in return? A, deal a deal's a deal. deal. The Nahuatl word for snake is coatl. C O A T L. That's just the word coat with an L on the end of it. I should get back to the museum. Something Goodbye. about that. That's the word f for coat. 
Now, why did I need that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need that in order to tell the CB radio people, I think. I think the CB radio blows up at some point, right? Well, let's just say... That something always goes wrong. The radio tube went out. Catch me breaking into this cabinet. Okay, where which one's the radio in? It feels like this one. There it is. Can you open it? It's locked. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, ham radio, get the tube. This one just seems a little unnecessary. I guess you're supposed to use your brain. It's hard to back out of these. Can I take some of these things? No. Pretzel quad, pretzel quaddle. Oh, that's cute. Love fun names. Thank bar thanks, Barbaric Eric, for that, to break the silence. A nice reverb fart in an empty museum. Do I need to solder it? I know how to solder. Y'all don't know this about me. <laughs> but I know how to solder. 2050? This seems like a really inefficient way to type stuff in. Oh! Race. Two. Six. One. You're breaking up! Okay, and now what I need to do with that... Let's look in the drawer. Where's the gold key? There's some instructions on that. Not if it was... Peggy Hill. Okay. For example. If it was that, put a zero at the end of the last three digits. Okay. So it would be... 2610. Step two. Add all the digits in the series. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight. That equals nine. Add the number from step one to the number from step two. Oh, fuck. So that would be two, six, one, nine. Enter it in. More is good! Morris code. I know there's a Morris code book. I ain't doing that shit. Morris code translator. Input. Um, oh, output. Snake. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I want to do it the other. Oh, that got it! We're not doing that shit anymore. Okay. So I'm, I tell him that? Oh no, I go to that station. I think I need to go to two. I feel like I was really confused the first time I ever did this and I now I kind of feel like I'm serving it. Mm. 
You're fucking kidding me, right? Is that the wrong fucking station? Is it not two? It's not 2619. Am I supposed to tell him 2619? Oh, no. Ocho is eight. Yeah, I got that. 83261 is the... Original. No, no answers yet. I just did this part wrong. The last three digits of the series. So I got two, six, one, zero. At each of the... Oh, the original five digits. I didn't do that. At each of the original five digits and add the sum of the four digit number. I didn't do that. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, plus six, seven, eight, nine, equals 29. Oh no, add each, oh, I didn't add those. I added the 2610. I didn't add 83261. Which is 20. So it should be station 2630? If I did it right this time. Add the sum, add that sum to the four digit number. Okay, got it. I'm mixing six and seven. Siete isn't six. He said siete? Eight, three, two, seven, one. Seven, so I sh it should be two, six, three, one then. Oh no, it shouldn't. No, yeah. Two, six, seven, oh. Oh, wait, hold on. 2670 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 2, 6, 7, 0, plus 21. I, 7, 8, 9, 1, 26, 91. Don't tell me the answers, please. 26. But technically, I could type in every number from zero to 9,999. Shit. So that, well, just tell me the original number because I had it as 83261, but it's 83271. Now I don't trust what I heard, so I'm gonna do that again. Oh my God. I'm about to throw myself off the goddamn pyramid too. Eight three two seven one. So you take the first three and you go two seven one zero. Okay, he needs to stop screaming. Two seven one zero. Oh my god, it's off. How is he still screaming? Eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seven eighteen nineteen twenty twenty. The original equal twenty one. So two seven ten plus twenty one is two seven thirty one. Which is a number that I got at one point because it's written up here. No, I got 2631. It's my P.O. box. <laughs> Add the 
adding is harder on senior detective. Oh God. Oh, now, transmit now is what that says. What was I supposed to? I need to do Morris. Okay. Oh, do I have to send after each letter? Oh, <laughs> this sucks. Oh, look, this one looks like a sleeping emoji. Snack. Oh, I should just say snack. No, that's it. <laughs> what the fuck? Do I have to type it again? I'm screaming. I did press send. Top 10 things I pressed to send and it said, eh. I'm gonna start doing that sound again just to be fucking annoying. Eh. <laughs> that, we did that in Titanic. And is this a transmit button? Stop. <laughs> oh, English? Oh! Do I need to tap the word in Spanish? So serpiente. Oh, that's long. Me just ending the conversation. Oh, the noir. <laughs> Coadal. Fucking hell. Two, seven, three, one. God. God. <laughs> Imagine being a smuggler and being this fucking picky. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the head pat. <laughs> I don't have a German dictionary. I speak a little German myself. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I do speak a little German. What is this? Scheiße? Does that mean shit? <laughs> oh, I don't know the, I don't know what else she wants. I speak a little Nuato myself. Oh, that's all the information I know. Hold on. I know what she needs to hear. <laughs> well, this is us back in the Yahoo chat rooms. ASL. <laughs> I thought she was supposed to give me a word back. All right, well, I'll, I'll talk to her again in just a second. I need to go figure out something. Okay. Oral. She left on red. Ah, 
password is enter it and they'll confirm the voice. Then send a code. Oh. Send the item immediately. Coast is clear. Oh, that's what I need them to do. Oh, well, yeah. There's a lot of things I can say. Just very... And I... And yes. It's all spelled out for me and I'm still getting mad. <laughs> and yes. Oh, <laughs> not bald guy screaming! I, that's me. You, you've got him back. <laughs> you've got him back. It's me. I'm bald guy screaming. Been here all along. Okay, so Kuwato first. Oh, fuck! I already misspelled it. Wow, C and K are really close to each other in Morris. You send the item immediately. The coast is clear. So let's see how we write Leche. The humming tickles my brain in a funny, fun way. You know? Wait, what's your text tone? This beeping? L-E-C. Mensaje recibido. Entregaremos el paquete lo más pronto posible. As soon as possible. Okay. Um, oh, I think that's all I need to do. I think they got the message. And if I go to sleep, I bet it'll be there when I when I had woken up. Doesn't Henrik look like a Christopher? Why have we never talked about that? Napier, thank you for the bits, by the way. Oh, no. Don't worry, you haven't missed anything. Just me screaming a lot. KT Horgan, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Rena Gorna, thank you for the bit. It's always great to see you. Thank you, thank you. I like the name Christopher. Judy, thanks for the bits. You had to write a message in Morse code. One girl did it wrong, so instead of good luck, she wrote good fuck. That would have just been the riot of the school. You think Christian, but not Christopher? It's okay to be wrong. I like the name Christopher. I like the name. Oh, this will be great for engagement. Dear chat, what's your favorite names? Not <laughs> really. I need to be a part of this. I need to be a part of the reality orientation. Oh, Charlie's good. Piggy, of course. C 
Chris, not Christ. Oh, see, well, Chris is fine, but going by Christopher is fun. Whoa, 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 what'd that say? Well, I can't read it. Oh, no, I can't. <sighs> I get the an- Do I get the answers to this one in one of the exhibits? Does she literally not take it with her? Nancy. Attention, Henrik! Well, I'll go ask him about this. Let me tell you, Nancy's using a lot of her Metro card. And let me tell you the shitty thing about the Metro here. It's not a flat rate. You have to scan your Metro card when you get on and off the Metro. And it charges you, like, per distance that you went. Maddie, thank you for the five months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Charmed and Enchanted, 29 months. I hope you feel better, oh. though. Glad you get to catch a stream, but I hope you're doing okay. Thank you. Thank you. I do appreciate it. I had to add, I had to do Metro card on my phone now because I forgot my Metro card one day and I was waiting for the bus and I was like, I'm not missing this bus. I'll just get a new Metro card. Put on my phone. Um, okay, so. Does anyone, dear chat, where do I get the answer to this? I feel like it's a, an image. I don't even think of Millie as an old maiden type of name. I think of it as like Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah, we're looking for the solution to the eyes puzzle. There's an exhibit on beauty in the museum. That's right. It's probably gonna be the last exhibit I look at. Language. Okay, that's right. It was about beauty standards and stuff in Mayan culture, arts and crafts. Hoops were the Maya. I haven't even tried to open this case. That might be f just fun to look at. Oh, it's not. Never mind. And I probably did open it. All right, let me think. I'm cooking now. Arts and crafts. Definitely not that exhibit. God, I... Museums? <laughs> I can do about one museum a day. Do you know what I mean? They're great, and I love that museums exist. But man, I can do one a day. This is one museum, but I'm having to do it like 10 times. Oh, fuck. Here's that. Here's this little, this fucking. I'm gonna have to do this eventually. Wow. Oh! Heavy. Oh, I just took that! Thanks for the posture check. Do I? I just took that. I'm not sure I can hold on to these stones for very much longer. I've got to put these things down. 
Where did these go? Why did I do that? She needs to calm down. Is she gonna die? Wow. What a flop. I'm gonna die from carrying stuff? Well then. Oh, here it is. Okay, do I need to get them all like this? What's this forehead thing? Alright, I think they all need to be looking inward. Just let it happen? Take them to the monolith? Oh, okay. If she dies from carrying something, that's... Interesting. Oh, great. Here we go. One of them is missing. Yeah, okay. The poem said, when the first king ascends again. What if I just, like, accidentally got it? Oh, wait, I could open this now! Oh, I could probably, uh, like, the first king. What was his name? Like. Pedro <laughs> Pascal. Pacal? He wasn't the first, though, was he? Okay, I was doing the box. I couldn't remember what I was doing before I got interrupted by holding heavy things. Apparently, Nancy needs to take this weightlifting Peloton class, this strength training Peloton class that I'm taking. Oh, girl. So we need to do that one last. That one controls two. That one controls two. This one controls the most. Give me a challenge. Wait, what happened? Oh. <laughs> Not the Mayan Rubik's Cube. Should I mail that back to him? She threw it away. They were having fun. They were some fun gals on that box. So, this connects to a different piece of jade. Okay, so the next things I need to do is disk drive. Hmm. I feel like I probably should send a code that tells them to meet me at the rendezvous, Vals? Rendez Vals? But I don't know where that is. I should ask Henrik if he knows where that is. It's a pretty big day for... <laughs> oh, here he is. Good afternoon, young lady. Henrik, I got a package. Henrik, I received a note from your friends in Copan. I've got the Copan fool key. I still need the Pakal, though. How's your memory? The tomb! Nancy, I hid the Pakal carving in the replica of the Pakal tomb at the bottom of the temple exhibit. Huh. Now, how did I think of that? And another thing. You'll need to get past that computer quiz. Sunny set it up with an impossible question. No one knows what Pakal was afraid of, but Sunny was petrified of the Coatamundi. It's an ornery bandit with a Kawata narrow snout Mundi. and a long ring tail, much like a raccoon or a polecat. Got it. So according to your notes... According to your notes, Pakal made a six-part key to the Whisperer's tomb 
and scattered the pieces around the world. Do you remember anything about this? Six keys? Six keys? Six keys! Nancy, what are the four corners of the world? North, south, east, and west. Plus the first king, Pakal himself, and the Copan fool. When they're all assembled, they open the tomb. Don't you see? This is why I stole the Pakal, to prevent some other schemer from putting the key together. Maybe I'd better tell Joanna what's going on. You must keep this to yourself for now. It's your only hope of getting to the bottom of this. You rest up. I'll be Isn't back. six be keys careful. the new game? Is the new game six keys or seven keys? And why don't I remember that? <laughs> I don't think he's faking it. I think he just, um... He's like, when you wake up and you're groggy. Seven keys. Seven keys. So this, what, what's the seventh key? If the six keys are north, south, east, west, uh, Pakal and Copan full, who will play the seven? Who would be the seven? Who would be the seven? I'm the seventh key. <laughs> Not seventh key is love. The seventh key is the friends we made along the way. It's locked. No. <laughs> Nancy, please. Why is that an option to shut the door? <laughs> Nancy, please. Nancy, please. Not up, down at a time. So here's what here's why I'm yawning. It's not because y'all are boring. Um <laughs> Today, I've started to drink only one coffee a day. I've started to drink only one coffee a day. Why is that telling me? <laughs> I've started to drink only one. I told Justin, only make me one cup today. And I think it was a mistake. Using the logogress moves a calendar stone so that the date equals 12 Kaban. Oh, okay. I can do that. Ben. <gasps> X-Men! I love the X-Men. X-Men. X-Men 97. I've been fucking gooning over. <laughs> Oh, you want it to be the what? 12, 12 Kaban. X-Men. X-Men 97 is, has no business being as good as it is. None of these say Kaban. Oh, maybe they do. No, I don't think that they do. What are these? Mine were experts, astronomers. While they did not use hours or minutes, they did have a complex size of maturing days. 20 weeks. Oh, there's the dots for the weeks. Okay, I know how to do the numbers. Logo graphs. Are there? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> okay, now what does that, what the fuck is that? I didn't, I didn't see it. Oh, my mail was, my Amazon was delivered. That's right. Okay, I'll take a picture of this. Come on, come on. And I have to just do 12. That's easy. So I know what 12 does. These don't move each other, do they? No, perfect. Great. So 12 is two lines, 
No, one line and two dots, I think. Um, well, let's see where one, one is. Wait, one, two, uh oh. Maybe I don't remember how to count. Do y'all remember how to count in, in my, a line is 10. Okay, that's what I thought. So it would be a line and two dots. Line and two dots, but also, so I think it's, oh, wait, 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 wait. And the, anything that's not a dot doesn't count. That just means like funky, funky stuff. So I think that's 12. Oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no. That's 12. Oh, is a line five? Dear chat, is a line five or is it 10? No, it makes sense that it's, oh, it's five, six, seven, eight. I think you're right. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Ten, eleven, twelve, and then I mean I can just turn that until she poops her pants over it. Oh, I didn't put my key card in. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> twelve. Oh, yeah, what does the DC flag mean? You know. When I moved here, I kept seeing that flag everywhere, and I didn't know what it meant for the first couple years. <laughs> and then, and I was like, I thought that flag meant like George Washington or something. I thought it was like the maritime flag for George Washington. You know how there's maritime flags? I thought it was the maritime flag for that meant George Washington. Is that okay? And then, um, oh, I already did this one. Well, and then, um, where's the fucking computer in here? Oh, there it is. And then I saw the Maryland flag. And let me think, let me tell you. She thinks she's hot shit with that fancy ass flag. Mama, it looks like a medieval coat of arms. I have a feeling this may be one of Sonny's tricks. Oh, that's it. I didn't put the key card in! <laughs> oh, I did. I did! Okay, good for me, good for me. It's locked. But I still got to do the shaking thing. Let me tell you, exhibit museums love having exhibits like this. They're like, it's fun for the kids. The kids never do it. The kids just want to run through. I want to do it. It seems like fun. <laughs> All right, I'm out. It's too dark in here. I need a light. Ooh, I should save it. 
We haven't saved this entire time. How much time do I have left? Y'all are gonna say 20 minutes, but can y'all be like honest for once? <laughs> but can y'all be like honest for once? Meow Mix, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Soli, thank you for the nine months. And Brethaniel with nine months too. I do appreciate that. Where am I? Do I live here? Do you know what would make me absolutely livid? If it led to a place I already knew how to get to, I would be livid. It's time to open this now, isn't it? In Joe time 30 minutes. <laughs> hey, Dragon Nina. You're right on time. Traditional code, thanks for the bits. Kamas, <laughs> thank you for the bits. I don't remember the calendar part at all. So, I need to do this on, um... Oh, I wish I would have taken pictures of all of the months or something. So, um... Kodamundi. How to open monolith. I'm not reading the poll. I don't want to know what this poll is. Open the monolith, Scarlet Hand. So it told me the date. Or it told me what it meant. I already got the calendar stones. Put them in the key. Okay. Exit the garden area. Click on the keyhole side of the temple and rotate the cube four times. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Insert the... The, the, no, the, no, the what? No, the, the what now? Insert the what? Is one of these missing a thing? Or was that just telling me where the key? Y'all, I'm on the Her Interactive forums reading a post from 2007. There are square holes. Which side of the jade key fits into a hole? This side looks damaged. That's what the top says when they see me from behind. <laughs> what the top says when I bend over. That's a deep, dark hole. Yeah. Thanks, Casey. I appreciate it. God, thank you. Nancy's really judgy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. These all look the same. Which is probably the issue. I need to find the side that doesn't. Not I wasn't even gay in 2007. Oh, was I? I don't think I was either until later that year. I think I turned gay in 2007. <laughs> I think that's the year I turned gay. Wait a second. Hmm. This, this is definitely not where they go. Something about Nancy saying, hmm, makes me want to flip it. Makes me want to flip a table. Do you know what I mean? This side's damage. Oh, do I need to put the date in first? It needs to be at six Lamotte. 
Oh, we set the deck. No, that's a great idea. <laughs> oh my god, how ca Okay, it zoomed in a little bit. Four, five, six. There we go. Oh. And a Where'd that hole happen? That didn't happen here. That happened on one of the other sides. Where did that happen? I have no idea. Oh, there it is. It okay, got it. Like a keyhole. It looks like a keyhole. It looks like a keyhole. It looks like a keyhole. <laughs> I think it's a keyhole. It looks like a keyhole. I thought this went in there. It looks like a keyhole. It looks like a keyhole. Well, that's uh, it. Something about that looks. I think it's a keyhole. So I need to assemble the key. Do I need to do that in the lab? Cause it's just two things that, that go together. It's just, it's just. <laughs> it's just two. Th it's just two things. And they fit to. It's a puzzle. Do y'all know about puzzles? It's like if a puzzle, a jigsaw puzzle, had two pieces. It's like if a jigsaw puzzle had two pieces, is what it is. And that's what it is. I can't even turn it. Can I pick this up? Oh, six things! Where are the others for? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Things we didn't ever do is open this. I don't know how. I got the package from the people. I opened it, and that's how I got this piece. I got this piece from completing the museum. What happened to all of those artifacts I stole? Check my vo I forgot about my voicemail. Every day. It's because I don't listen to it in real life either. Does anyone, can I ask you a question? Do y'all actually personalize your voicemail greeting? Cause I don't. You have no voicemail. Press nine for an outside line. I don't want it to say, hey. Cause if I didn't answer, I don't want them to know that they have the right number either. Prudence. Okay, we'll go call Prudence. I, if they call me and I don't answer, I don't want them to know that they got the right number. I'll need to make phone calls. Oh, Chase Trellick, by the way, thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Brit Steps, thank you again for the bits. Bye, Judy. Glad you got to be here. Thank you again, Kit Kat Moss, for the bits. I appreciate that. Do y'all know her number? 
Because my notes look like, my notes look like I had a breakdown. Is hers the 505 number? I think I know her number. Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. Hi, this oh. is Nancy Drew calling. Well, that's Hi, fine. Nancy. It's Sheila. What can I do for you? I've just got to get my hands on a record that of that jade carving you lost. Do you have any ideas? Not off the top of my head, but maybe one of my staff will have a bright idea. I need some time to ask around. Can you call back later? Sure thing. Feel free to call if you have any more questions. That worked out pretty well. Um, what other long distance numbers do I have? I have... I have some D.C. numbers, but she doesn't live in D.C., doesn't she live in Kansas? Call Franklin. Yeah, I sure didn't write down her number. Unless that's it. I don't think that's it. 2442662 spells big boob. Oh, that's, is that Prudence's? Okay. You have reached the villa of Prudence Rutherford. As you may have heard, the sanctity of my home has recently been violated. If you've reached this recording, it means I've gone to my quiet place. So please, don't leave a message. You are welcome to try back another time. If you are calling about the Corn Growers Ball, rest assured that the show will go on as scheduled on the 9th. Is she just asleep? It's only 3 o'clock in Kansas. Oh, cancel. She's going through it. She's might be dead. Call Franklin first. Okay, I'll try him. Monica, thank you for the bits. Oh, I hope therapy session went Bob well. Bob Jackson and Rose. May I speak to Franklin Rose, please? Who may I say is calling? This is Nancy Drew. Just a minute, please. Nancy, how's your investigation coming along? Oh, um... I'm making good progress, and the Pakal carving is safe and sound. Is uh, it? I'm afraid I can't tell oh, you no, everything yeah, it is. yet. What in the world are you talking about? Um, I'm sorry, but I can't explain everything now. I'll take good care of the carving, I promise. What can I say, Nancy? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. This is YouTubers you when they can't do, tell you about a big thing that's up, about to happen. Right. Nancy's YouTubers when they when they're really excited, but they can't tell you about a big collab that's happening. So you'll call Joanna and invite her back to work? I'll call her right away. Thanks, Mr. Rose. Thanks, Mr. Rose. That's what I'm here for. He's got a nice voice. I'm going to go sleep for a few hours. <laughs> May last week. Andy Will, thank you for the 44 months. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Thank you. Not this at this moment in time. Do I look like I need stream viewers? <laughs> Not the spam. Thank you so much, Andy Will. Sasha, Sasha can't delete the spam we just got. He's too busy making polls. <laughs> Oh, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Good afternoon, young lady. You rest up. I'll be back. I'll do my best. Sasha was too busy coming up with, um, 
trying to figure out how unhinged the next poll could be. Which I appreciate, by the way. They're great for engagement. Polls are great for engagement. So she can't come to the phone right now. No, that is not Sasha Slander. I would never. Is she here? Thanks for clearing my name, Nancy. Honestly, I mean, what kind of moron would I be to try and ruin my not own fatal exhibit? Amnesia. Anyway, we need to make up for lost time. I need you to go to the storeroom and start unpacking oh some of those God. crates. One of the pieces has a fancy security device on it. The code is 0677. 0677. She just gave it to me. It's just like, it's true. Um, apparently, a Topeka apparently, woman. Apparently, a Topeka woman named Prudence Rutherford has recently been visited by a red handed thief, too. Do you have any idea how I might get in touch with her? Afraid I can't help you there. Oh. I've got work to do. Her, Go to it. Slay her. Read her. Sipping on that treaty, hunty. Oh. I live. This is giving me life, hunty. Thank you, Hunkamajunka. I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Zero. And there's six of these? Whitney, thanks for the bits. Welcome back. I mean, I think chat would probably finish this game really fast. They gave me... Someone said it'd probably take me approximately 30 minutes. I think it might be a little longer for me. Actually, but... Diego de Landa. I wonder if that's one of the keys. Oh my god. Does he have a phone number? Insurance. Diego de Landa. Ornamental carding. Unidentified classic. Oh, how do I get a hold of him? Can I send him a letter? He's in Cuba. Not this Arizona girl. It's not a person? Oh. Um, excuse me. I live in the United States and corporations are people. <laughs> oh, it, no, excuse me. I live in the United States and corporations are people. According to my government? No, I'm from the UK. Wasn't there some phone numbers? You have no voicemail. Press nine for an outside line. Well, I'll just ask Joanna. I would appreciate it if y'all didn't hurt the corporation's feelings. I'd appreciate it if you tried your best not to hurt that corporation's feelings. I know there's phone numbers, but there wasn't one on the packing slip, was there? Need something? I've got work to do. See you around. That's what I was looking on the desk for. But if gay people get married, then what about the corporation's feelings? But if gay people get married, who's going to console the corporations? <laughs> yeah, Joanna's back. She got unfired. You have no voice. 
How did you say you spelled boobies on the phone? If I were gonna contact someone that I saw on a spreadsheet, I mean, I would just send them an email. Okay. Number 1113. This is what happens when nobody explain when you hire an intern and you don't pay them and you don't explain their job to them. I'll take a hint. It's a dear chat moment. I think I need to call Prudence back too. I feel like Prudence is gonna visit Taylor. Oh, that's right. He kind of manages some of this stuff, doesn't he? I haven't visited him in a minute. Jenny Reds, thank you for the 12 months. We did it, Joe. Thank you, thank you. I do appreciate it. Shelly, thank you for the bits. Uh, Hunka Majunka, thank you for the bits. Not this. How come I remember the entire Any beginning? News? I'd better get going. Bye now. How come I remember the entire beginning part of this game and none of the rest of it? Any news? I'd better get going. Bye now. Chat, he won't even let me munch on his turd cookies. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> so, I think I fell down the pyramid too. The beginning is more eventful. I think I just kind of blocked out everything after that happened after he fell down the pyramid. I think I'm too lazy to be a comedian. It's a lot of work. Hello. I should get back to the museum. Goodbye. All right, I need to call Prudence. Okay, we'll go do that. Um, can you post her number again, Napier? I don't think I wrote it down, and I should. Prudence. <laughs> hey, hey, Prudence. Thank you, Napier. Five, 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 Thank you for that. Can't really talk with Prudence until I get. Oh, I don't even technically have her phone number yet. I'm supposed to get it from Franklin? I thought I had talked to her on the phone before. Boswell, Jackson, and Rose, how may I direct your call? This is Nancy Drew. Calling for Franklin Rose, please. Just a minute, please. Nancy, to what do I owe the pleasure of this call? Thanks, Hunka Majunka. Not in the pay phones. I need to contact a woman thank you, named thank Prudence you. Rutherford. I noticed she's on the board of the Topeka Commission for the Arts, and that they've donated I read her money article. to Beach Hill. Any idea how I might track her down? Well, you're in luck. It so happens that Prudence and I sat on the panel of judges for the Kansas Speak No Evil Mime competition for three years in a row, back when I lived in Wichita. How's that for a small world? Dad never told me you lived in Wichita. I've been to Wichita Indeed a lot. I did. I haven't talked to Prudence in about 10 years. But let's see if I still have her in this old dinosaur of a Rolodex. Ah, yes, here we go. Got a pen? It's area code 785-555-7279. What's this all about? 
Oh, she's got Nego's of my artifact that Ms. was stolen Robinson by her family. Of my artifact stolen right out of her home. I'm trying to see if there's any connection between these robberies. Ha! You're a real pro, Nancy. Say, why don't I call ahead and let Prudence know what's going on? That oh way my God, I can that would say be great. hello, and she'll be expecting you. That would be great, Mr. Rose. Oh no, I, 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 that's dear. valid. I do everything out of order. Well, I for, the first episode was like four weeks ago. <laughs> And I'm just so bad. I'm just so bad at... Usually I make a, a note to myself, but when I tell y'all, <laughs> this past week has been so much. The past week felt like 10 years. I don't remember anything that happened. <laughs> it's Your like playing this game the for the first time. Prudence. Heard. You know what, As you Diva? may have heard, the sanctity of my home has recently been violated. I have to listen to if this whole thing. If you've this recording, it means I've gone to my quiet place. So please, don't leave a message. You are welcome to try back another time. If you are calling about the Corn Growers Ball, rest assured that the show will go on as scheduled on the 9th. Y'all, I don't know what's going on in Wichita. No, 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 no. I don't know what's going on in Wichita, because if you go to the Walmart... One of the Walmarts in Wichita, they have to lock up the candle. They have the candles under lock and key. You have to ask an associate at Walmart to get a candle. What are they doing? Are people stealing candles? Oh, I put 10 p.m. Candles under lock and key in Wichita. Not like the Robitussin. You know? The candles. I hate that alarm sound. You have reached the villa of Prudence Rutherford. As you may have heard, the sanctity of my home has recently been violated. If you've reached this recording, it means I've gone to my quiet place. So please don't leave a message. You are welcome to try back another time. If you are Did calling Brother about the corn growers ball, rest we assured that the show will go on as scheduled on the 9th. I live. This is giving me life, hunty. <laughs> Thank you for that, Judy. <laughs> Thank you for that, Judy. You tried. Oh my god, Glenn, what's going on? Thanks, Chase Relic, for the sticker. Need something? I've got some work to do. Bye. Does she just send it to me? Maybe she just sends it to me. I know I I'm pretty You're sure ugly. I have to You're disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Give me two hundred dollars. Thanks, Titan Girl. I appreciate that so much. I know I have to, I like make a copy out of resin and send it back to her or something. Yeah, it's definitely not anything here. How many days do I have to fucking sleep? You know what? I'll go visit Henrik. No, I didn't call the, the, the I did not call that place back. That's a good idea. Well, they said they would call me back. But I also called them from my hotel. I appreciate you. Thanks, Titan girl. Wait, do I call them from... I have to call them from work, don't I? Diamond Lake, thank Not you for the bits. 
That's death. 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 Oh, death. Death. It's all death. Hospital. Call about the Cinnabar. I think that's the 6766 number. I'll try a local call from here. I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, maybe Bess and George. Sounded like they answered. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, Walker, welcome! Great to have you here. You've arrived just in time for me to unravel because the game's taking too long. <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, God. So, local calls from here. Let's try this number. I just have a bunch of numbers written down. Silvio's Curatorial Bonanza is open from 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. Please call back during regular business hours. Not just try your phone number. You know what? Okay. Phone numbers. Nancy Drew, Scarlet Hand. I don't think... Did he give me Papa... Puppet, puppet Dada's. Oh, here we go. Cultural Center's phone number. I'm on the Her Interactive. You have to call from the hotel phone. And I am on the Her, the Her Interactive Forums. Did I? I had this number written down. Where do I have it written down? I don't see that. You I have reached the Daddle number. residence. If you're calling for Penelope, she has her own line now. That number is 555-3197. Oh, if you're calling for me or Louise, five, we can't five, come five. to the phone at the moment. Who is this? We'll be back in a jiffy. Please try again soon. That was Poppy Dad Daddy. This says... The cultural center. Yeah, so someone gave the wrong answer. Someone gave the wrong answer to that question. Oh, I dialed it correctly. I just did. It's, it's the 1222 number. Did I not put a 1 in front of the 505? We, don't worry, we're doing it. Name <laughs> and shame them. Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I'm going to, I'm going to leave a, I'm going to reply. This is from 2008. And I'm going to say, actually, Ellen, that's not the truth. The piece was encased in a tight foam cast to prevent damage during shipping. I'm not sure how much good it'll do you, but I can send it to you if you like. Yes. That just might work. Henry yes. Henry Gillespie Hill is his forwarding address, so I know what to do. I'll send it express. Thanks a million, Sheila. Good luck with your investigation. Why does she sound like an investigator from the 1920s? Ashley, thank you so much for the bits. I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Uh oh. Please check the number and dial again. This is a Hold on, I got this. Oops. Don't worry. I have like one to two ideas.
The artist, formerly known as Penelope, is OOC, OTH, TDT, and generally not in the mood. Please call back SOT, that is, some other time. Peace. Is, do y'all think modern art is art? <laughs> Do y'all think a banana taped to a wall is art? <laughs> it's great. This is great for engagement. Do y'all think that a banana taped to a wall is art? Do y'all think a toilet seat hanging on the wall is art? Notorious BFO, thank you for the bits. Do I hear the sound alerts in your sleep at night? No, when I close my eyes, I think of every everything I've ever done in the past 36 years. <laughs> no, when I close my eyes, I see different types of horrors. This is the least of my issues. Oh my God, how long does it take to ship a God forsaken package? How long do I gotta sleep? <laughs> Not language. Skeleto, thank you for the two months. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Any news? I'd better get going. Bye now. Poppy Dada has one of these pieces. Or something. Anything else to say to Henry? Good idea. Not my post office. That's what I have nightmares about, is the post office. I have to get Poppy's phone number from someone. I definitely was not supposed to have it already. I would think Good I would get it from Taylor. You rest up. I'll be back. I'll do my best. There's definitely something real obvious I'm missing. Well, can I finally call Prudence? Well, we got it from her dad, but I wasn't supposed to have... I wasn't supposed to have her number. The dad's number. I'll go call, call Prudence again. Well, I did call Poppy's dad. I got the number from Poppy's dad. From this, from the Her Interactive forums. I wasn't, I, I don't know if I got that in game. Y'all, I'm Henrik right now, and I'm trying to piece some things together. Yeah, phone, being phone call simulator is not it. Well, someone gave me Prudence's. Yes, hello. Um, Franklin already gave me Prudence's, but she, then I called her the next day, and she didn't answer. But now, apparently, she's decided Hi, she's done Nancy grieving. Hi, this is Drew, calling from Washington, D.C. I'm trying to reach Prudence Rutherford, please. Oh, yes. Franklin told me you'd be calling. Such dreadful news about Beach Hill. I will do everything in my power to help you catch those rapscallions. To think how they violated the sanctity of my domicile. Good heavens. Did Mr. Rose fill you in on the museum theft? He just told me that you're young and brilliant and that you might be able to get my fire ruby necklace back. Needed to finish what? CC, what's CCCC? Yeah, I thought I called during regular hours. 
I'll certainly do my best. Tell me, did the necklace have a lot of sentimental value to you? Yes, I'm afraid it did. Oh, well, there's a the net! necklace restrung to include an exquisite Brother, jade carving as a centerpiece. Me a genuine artifact of the ancient Maya. The carving oh, is not only one oh, of a kind, but a Rutherford hunting. family heirloom given to me by my great-grandfather when I was just a little girl. Thanks, Judy. I appreciate that. I didn't kill it. That we apparently have fungus gnats again in the plants. <laughs> That's a lot of sounds. Momo, thank you for the sixteen uh, months. By the way, I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you. Does the carving have any meaning that you know of? <laughs> That's it a rare glyph. No one's been able to give me thank a precise you, Momo. translation. But most epigraphers have agreed that it has something to do with a snake, the color green, and the direction south. It's terribly fascinating. I would rather have... Well, if I brought back Bald Man Screaming and I made it $12.50 like that one is, would you rather have Bald Man Screaming for $12.50? Not bleach. Neem oil. Not bring back bingo. Do you think the thief or thieves had any idea of what they were stealing? Oh, they must have known. The rest of my valuables were left untouched. Frankly, I don't know whether to be grateful or insulted. What about evidence? The first thing I saw when I opened my eyes was this positively ghoulish red handprint on the wall. I nearly jumped out of my skin. A red handprint was left at the scene of the crime at Beach Hill, too. Ms. Rutherford, I'm almost certain that these robberies were committed by the same person. But why? What is so special about these carvings? <sighs> okay. Ms. Rutherford, it would be so helpful if I knew exactly what your carving looked like. Could you send me a picture that shows it in detail? <laughs> I can do better than a photo. The insurance company made this dreadful replica of the necklace with the idea that I would wear such a thing to public functions. Please. But I could send that to you if you'd like. Perfect. Let me give you the address. My secretary will have the address of the museum. Now, if that is all you would require, young lady... I will need to attend to Yo, other lady. matters. Thanks a million, Miss Rutherford. I won't let you down. So Call me Prudence. Oh, and Nancy, when you find the villains who did this to me, do me a favor and give them a sound thrashing. I sure will. Goodbye. Okay. Now I need to call the cultural... They didn't answer either, did they? Yeah, what's up with that? What's up with that? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was my Nancy Drew impression, and it did not come out. What's up with that? <laughs> I've switched places with Henrik. It is an out call, isn't it? It's a it's a five oh five 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 one two two two. Try Poppy now, you think? Y'all, y'all. I don't remember. I think this is her number. It's a, I think hers is a 605. Oh, they told me they were sending it. Okay, thank the you. The artist, awesome, formerly awesome. known as Penelope, is OOC, OTH, TDT, and generally not in the mood. Please call back SOT. That is some other time she's out Peace. of character over the she's over the drama over the bullshit no. <laughs> 
<laughs> DTF. Cosmos, thank you for the bits. That's true, I forget the games anyway. But this has been a particularly long time between episodes. Um, 3195? Yeah, that was her dad, wasn't it? I had that number that I called, and her dad gave me her number. Maybe I should call him again. How many pieces do I have? I have three, and I'm supposed to be getting two in the mail. That's at least five. So here's the one from Prudence. Prudence. She throws the rubies in the trash. I, I mean, I thought so too, but... So he must have already given me her her dad's phone number. Which I, who I, whom I called. It was the 605 number. I'll go talk to him real quick and then I'll try to call her dad again. But I have her number now. I called her dad first. Let's see if Prudence triggered anything Any for news? him. Any nope. news? I'd better get going. Thanks for stopping by. I'm really offended. He hasn't offered me any turd cookies in a long time. This game does have too many phone calls. Cosmos, thank you for the bits. You spent two hours around this part of the game a year or two ago because you didn't realize I had to look at the stupid plaque on the wall with Prudence's name on it before I could proceed with the game. Oh, God. I guess I did that. That must have happened. I tried clicking all over her painting. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed. But I'll try again. I'm gonna try the, the contrast. The artist, here. formerly known as Penelope, is OOC, OTH, TDT, and generally not in the mood. Please call back, SOT. That is, some other time. Peace. You miss these phones with these buttons? You can still buy them. You can have a phone. Oh, shit. What's the... F isn't there a 1441 number? So there's a card on Henrik's desk that has the number for the... I think the... the... Okay, I'm gonna go do something. I have no idea who Sheila is. I'm finishing today. It's over. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go get locked in that thing and die in that thing and do all the other shit. I have an idea. Oh my God. It's very difficult to walk sometimes. One wrong click and you're stuck. Okay. Preservation first, keep your restoration. Okay, I have an idea. You have no voicemail. Press nine for an outside line. I did not understand that function. You oh. have no voice. I know how to do it. You have.
Is that a number? Boswell, Jackson, and Rose, how may I direct your call? This is Nancy Drew. Oh, that's Calling Franklin. for Franklin Rose, please. Just a minute, please. Nancy, hello. Do you have any news? Nothing definitive yet, but I'm beginning to identify my suspects. Oh, Nancy, you zero in on a case like a heat-seeking missile, don't you? I feel so much better knowing you're going to follow up on every lead. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Mr. Rose. That's what I'm here for. All right, gamble your pickle points, I guess. Okay, I have a deer chat. I'm gonna have to do game boomers if we don't. Five oh five. You have no. I think this is not gonna work. Yeah, what is the number to the cultural center? I think I have it. it says, oh, call on the hotel. It's, is it the 3195? Is it the 605 number? No, that's the wrong number. That's, Poppy, that's Pop, Papa Dottie's. Between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. I'm only ever awake during those hours, so they should answer. It's the one, two, two, two. That's what I thought. Am I losing it or have I been literally dialing that number from the hotel phone over and over again? I've dialed that number several times. I Watch. I dialed 2662. Why would I do that? That's not even written down here. See, look, this keeps happening. It says rings in white text, and then it changes to red text, and nobody answers. I, I swear to God, it's... Well, uh, look, I'll show you all what time it is. 12.54 p.m. If a business isn't open at 12.54 p.m. <laughs> this happens to you when you play this game. You get stuck on this game and never any others. Do I need to look at the notes on the laptop? There's not. They don't need lunch. I mean, I've looked at these notes, so, I mean, I don't even know the password to that, so. Hi, Rose T. Uh, whoa, 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 Yeah, this is who I've been calling. 605 555. Whoa, whoa, who's that? Who's the 3195 number? That's Poppy Dada's uh, daddy. That's Poppy Daddy. Who we've called, and now his number's disconnected. He gave us his daughter's phone number, which is 605-555-3197. So that part's done. He blocked us. I mean, I called the Cinnabar place ages ago. I don't even know the number to them anymore. And also, they blocked me, didn't, didn't they? Because I accused them of something. The museum note. What museum note? Yeah. 
You should be able to call now that Nancy has seen it. That's an interesting thought. Let me try that. Maybe Poppy Dada will answer the phone now. I thought I had seen it before. The artist formerly known as Penelope is OOC, OTH, TDT, and generally not in the mood. Please call back SOT. That is oh, the some other time. Note on the disc. Peace. On this disc? I mean, I don't see anything called a museum note. I don't know, really know what you're talking about. So that's that one. So that's for the east key. The Copan Fool one we got. Hold on. So we got the Whisperer one. And then the mechanism. So there should be a mechanism. Within the Prison of Stone to allow herself. I don't know what that means. I'll call her dad in just a second. I'll call her dad in just a second. I will try him again. Wait, 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 that is a person! Bishop Diego de Land Landa. Landa. I finished all the quizzes. I finished all the quizzes. I, got, I broke out of that place. I checked the monolith where the piece is missing. I did that as well. I got the dialogue from that. Okay. He blocked me. Daddle residence. Hi, may I speak to Henry Daddle, please? Speaking. Mr. Daddle, my name is Nancy Drew. This is a long shot this is that it. I'm calling regarding a Maya this is artifact it. that was bought at auction in this 1898 by one Henry Albert Daddle. Does that ring any bells? Sure. Henry Albert Daddle Sr. was my great-grandfather. So I had to see his number carpet, physically. Right? Yes, exactly. Wow, in I order can't to do my this. luck. Well, it's a lucky life if you ask me. I'm what can I do for you? Family. I'm wondering if the artifact is still in the family. It doesn't sound like Ned to me, but I believe y'all. Who are you exactly? I mean, I guess it does. I'm the deputy curator at Beach Hill Museum in Washington, oh, D.C. my back. I'm doing some research on jade carvings of the ancient Maya. I see. I well, I was the last to inherit the carving, but my daughter Penelope was so intrigued with it that I gave it to her. I'm sure she'd be happy to talk to you about oh, it. Oh, I have her number. Why don't you give her a call on her It's on line. your voicemail. It's 555-3197. Five, 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 three, I have her Will number. Do. Thanks, Mr. Daddle. My I have pleasure. it. It's on, your, it's on your voicemail. I have her number. And I also have it memorized. Oh, what, what? I forgot the 555 part. I have it memorized. Hello? Hi, is this Penelope? Not even. Oh, is this 605-555-3197? Yeah, but no one calls me Penelope anymore. Except my parents, that is. To my friends, the art world, and anyone else who made it out of the 20th century, I'm Poppy. Wow. The art what world? A flop. Wait, you're not Poppy Dada, are you? Ta-da! Ping, ping! You win! Who's this? 
My name's Nancy Drew. I'm a detective. A detective? No way. So do you get to wear a sassy tweed hat and pick hairs off dead bodies and gross, creepy stuff like that? She's in. She's insufferable. <laughs> Which I think is the point. Actually, I try to keep a low profile, and a tweed hat, well, it's a little conspicuous. So, where'd you get Exclamation my Exclamation point suggests. Don't tell me I'm, like, wanted by the, the FBI code. or something. That would be too scandalous. It's exclamation point suggests, but I won't be reading it anytime soon. <laughs> Not quite. Taylor Sinclair told me about you. I saw one of your paintings in his office here in Washington, D.C. So, how I'm do you know Big Bunny Sinclair? I'm in the Honor Society, and I'm first chair clarinet in my band. Thanks, Hunka Majunka. And for telling me how to spell boob and the bits in T9. Taylor and I are both affiliated with Beach Hill Museum, also in D.C. Has Taylor been pushing those Oaxacan cookies on you? You haven't eaten one, have you? Uh-oh, is this about the cookies? Why, are the they The cookies? Let's put it this way. His trip to Oaxaca was about two years ago, and he's been trying to move those rancid lard biscuits ever since. Thanks for the tip, Poppy. I can see you're going to be a detective's best friend. That's hot. What's a case? Are there dead bodies involved? Do you need to, like, tap my phone or impersonate me or something? This is back when, this is in a Paris Hilton, post-Paris Hilton world where that's hot was a thing. Someone is stealing Maya antiquities, jade carvings to be exact. Poppy exempt, Hilton. <laughs> and leaving this scary red handprint at the scene of every crime. Ghastly. So what's with the red hand? It's printed with this stuff called cinnabar. Nobody seems to know what it means. All I know is the more I investigate, the more complicated it gets. Drama. So where do the daddles come in? I'm trying to track down certain Maya Jade carvings that haven't fallen into the thief's hands yet. I think one of them might be in your family. You mean that ancient green rock with the weird symbol on it? I slapped some shoe polish on it and stuck it in one of my paintings. Well, Paris Hilton tried to make another word happen recently, but I don't remember what it was. Y'all told me about it. You're kidding. That's a one-of-a-kind Maya artifact, a piece of history. It's hundreds of years old. It's worth S a lot of sliving, money. Sliving, sliving. point. Have you heard and what does that, mean? that a work of art is never finished, just abandoned? Well, I'm taking that idea to the limit by making art that will keep changing as different people encounter, perceive, and interact with it. I'm tired what does of artwork mean? that says, don't touch. I'm all about letting go, Slaying about sending my work into the world and life. seeing how it continues to become. Don't you see? It's an organic process. I mean, how can people really relate to art if it doesn't come to life and, and, and grow and die just like they do? That carving is part of something bigger now. I can't imagine your dad would be very pleased about this. Does he know? Oh, Nancy, don't be such a prude. Taylor's probably still got that artwork. At least, I don't think he sold it yet. Why don't you ask him? Tell him you want to see the piece called Deadly Midnight Snack. It's the one with the rubber shark. The one with the rubber shark? Yes, I've seen it, but I didn't notice any jade carving. Well, take a closer look there, sweets. It's in there. If you really need the carving to crack this case, why don't you just go ahead and take it? But wouldn't it ruin your painting? Of course not. After all, this is a chance to enact exactly what I've been talking about. The organic process. Inviting my viewers to interact with my work. The deal is, you can take the carving, but you have to put something in its place. What are those things? Um, what are, what are those live art things called? You know, as an art minor. As someone who has a minor in art. I can choose anything? A light bulb? A magnifying glass? A pair of headphones? No. no um, it should be something more organic. Performance the piece. title, Deadly Midnight Snack. And don't be afraid to go way out. As an artist, I can tell you that inspiration bites in the most mysterious ways. Okay, Poppy, if you say so. Right on. 
But let's keep Taylor out of this. He'd probably okay. Fine. blow a gasket Fine. if he saw you tampering with the merchandise. That's all art is to him, you know. Merchandise. It's a deal. Good luck, Nancy. She did performance art in art school. Thanks, she Bobby. did performance Bye. art in art school. She also went to like a really rich, I think she went to a really rich kid art school. Do I have anything to put there? Oh, I have a light bulb. Okay, perfect. When does he leave his office? Do I have to wait till he's dead? <laughs> this is... Not this being performance art. Any news? Mind if I help myself to one of those <laughs> yeah, finally! Oaxacan cookies? Be my guest. Oh, I'm supposed to put that on the painting. May I take a closer look at that wacky Dada painting? Be my guest. I just had a call from Poppy this morning. She says she's in a really creative period right now. I said, please, sweetie, if you get any more creative, they're going to lock you up. <laughs> uh, pardon me a moment, Nancy. I'll be right back. I hope. Blowing ass at 1 p.m. Poppy oh, here said it is. to replace it with something organic. There's a face on it. Do I have them all? One, two, three, four, five. Where's the other one? <laughs> He's sh living, shitting, and living. Can anyone tell me where the last one is? <laughs> Can anyone tell me where the last one is and who I need to call and where I need to cry? Now I should call Chaco Canyon, right? Did I get the one from the stock room lockbox or CC? I, I don't know what this, this CCCC. Oh, that's the place. No, I didn't get it. That one from that one. I got the one from the lockbox. They give you the mold. So I do need to call them. Ah, oh, I set an alert for my phone for 4 p.m. to do the laundry. Because I thought, surely I'll be done streaming by then. Because <laughs> I thought, surely I'll be done streaming. And I'll need to be reminded that I have to do an extra load of laundry today. Because Justin spilled coffee on his work shirt this morning. <laughs> I have done so much laundry. I have done so much laundry. I did laundry Saturday, laundry Sunday. I might have done an extra load of laundry. People, we keep spilling stuff on our stuff. I do. I have to finish it. I have to finish it. God damn it. I have to learn how to make phone calls too. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Go to the stock room and check for a delivery. Check for check for a delivery. I need to check for a I'll go to sleep. I'll go to sleep first. I'll go to sleep first. Do you know I I hated waking up for the first, like, 22 years. Because <laughs> of that fucking sound. I hated waking up for the first 22 years of my life because I had to. How did Prudence's package get here first? Oh my god. 
They gave me the mold. Okay, I know what I have to- I oh, will I don't know what I have to do. But I'll give it a go. Okay. If I were going to... I would need some kind of chemicals. Squirt! Squirtin'! Squirtin'! According to Henrik's notes, I need to make a key out of these pieces. Thanks, Brit Steps, for the bits again. I appreciate it. That goes on the top, but maybe not yet. These can only go in, like, one way, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's definitely that one. Do I need to carve that one down or something? Why'd you say not yet? Well, what's not yet? That one goes there. Do I need to, maybe I need to put the lid on first. Oh, I wonder if I need to turn, put the lid on first, but I need to put it on the right way. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Mama, there's a Rubik's Cube. Do they call it a Rubik's Cube? Now I have a key. Invented in Aruba. <laughs> Highlight the messages. Aruba X cube. <laughs> Why do some people have a number in front of their names? Oh, because they predicted that I wouldn't finish today or that I would. It's how we tell who are the haters <laughs> who thought I couldn't do it and wouldn't do it. And that I would die here. In fact, today, spinning around this. Did the button go away? Oh no, it's open. <laughs> Too busy working to gamble. What if I clicked load? I'll have to choose which side of the cube goes here. Girl, you got six fucking options, so just... Nothing happened. Oh, did something happen that time? Got it. When there's six options. I've already solved this part. Oh, well, excuse me. Where's the door part? Oh. I heard a click. Do I go in on this side? I've already solved this part. I've already solved this part. Did I really? Oh, and now another one opens. Okay. I hope. Yeah, there we go. Just try them all, girl. Easy. All right. We need a new hole. New hole. I remember I can die. I can get locked in. And it gets really dark. When I die inside of the monolith. So I'm going to do that. Just for old time's sake. That's always this a crowd pleaser.
This is the only way to do this puzzle, by the way. I wonder what's inside. <gasps> it's me. If this looks like a toilet, what if this was just a... Oh my god, what if this was an ancient Mayan porta potty? What if the whole time it was an ancient Mayan porta potty and she just walked in? It's blank. Who's your friend, Nancy? Ah! Boo. Taylor Sinclair. Oh. <laughs> Who'd you expect, Kiss the tooth the fairy? Statue. Looks like someone forgot her beauty cream. I guess we can't all age gracefully. I'm sure she would say the same about you. You've been a top-notch assistant, Nancy, but he looks like someone sat on his head and squished it. Make it in the art world. Oh, um, okay. Why are you doing this? Nancy, do you have any idea what that book contains? Um the script for the third Sex in the City movie? <laughs> This tomb and all of its contents belong to Mexico. Finders keepers, I say. Nobody even realizes this thing has any contents. Won't they get a surprise when they finally open it up and find that it contains a 7th century scribe and a 21st century detective? Adios, Nancy. Chat, what's in the book? Chat, what's in the book? I think that what was in the book... Something's missing here. I think that what was in the book was, um... I'm starting to run out of air in here. It's been two seconds, Nancy. Is, um... Uh, the script for the Sex and the City reboot, if Samantha had joined the show. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Remember, there's a few things to do in here, but I couldn't really tell you what. I'm suffocating in here. Girl, let me, out. Let me tell you about this diva. <laughs> oh, and then I think I go to the other side. I'm not gonna finish. Um. This, this may be the scribe's notes about. <gasps> there we go. I wanted to die first so we could see. <laughs> Seven hundred years. Two mummies found. This is dark because you never see Nancy in any of these games. You never see an actual picture of Nancy in any of the Nancy Drew games, except you see her mummified corpse if you lose at that part. You never see Nancy with her skin. Something about that. Something to think about. You'll never see me with skin. <laughs> oh my God, that song, that song. You'll never see me with skin. I'm starting to run out of air in here. So now it's gonna cry for you. This may be the scribe's notes about Bacall. You'll never see me with skin. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. No matter what you do. Behold, <laughs> they do look like Thomas. Iron emerges from the tomb, like a mermaid from the sea. Meanwhile, the foolish villain stews in the sour soup of his own miscalculation. From deep he in the himself? recesses of time, a wise royal scribe whispers her thanks. Mama, stewing in the soup. He's rescued from obscurity. Stewing in the Where'd soup. Go, Nancy? That was me when I shit my pants in the hospital. <laughs> what in the world? Stewing in my own Confound soup. Found you, Nancy Drew. Dear Dad, it was great to talk to you on the phone last night. I can't wait to see you well, back in the well, heights where well. I can fill you in on the whole story. Who bet against can you me? That your own daughter was recently standing face to face with a real mummy. Now that the scribe's book has been recovered, I understand how important it is and why Taylor thought he could make he a fortune selling it on the black market. He does not look like Barry Manilow. <laughs> the book contains one of the only personal accounts of Maya life and existence anywhere. 
I'm sure it'll be a tremendous addition to our knowledge of the Maya, once it's translated, that is. And now that Henrik's memory is back up to speed again, I'm sure he'll be itching to get to work on it. Taylor Sinclair won't be making any art deals for a long time, though, that's for sure. I guess I shouldn't be surprised about Alejandro's discovery that the Pakal Carving's provenance documents were faked after all. When Franklin Rose and the board found out, they arranged to return the artifact to Mexico right away. Mexican officials are so happy to have the artifact back, they have pledged a new era of diplomatic relations with Beach Hill. Joanna sure learned her lesson about making deals with shady operators like Taylor. The board has agreed to give her another chance, as long as she reforms her business tactics. And what else? Oh yes, Poppy Dada's announced Not a yes. new direction in her artwork. All her new paintings are going to feature, what else, mysterious red handprints. So I guess everyone is taking off in new directions that ain't now. Art. I'm going to stay and help this exhibit get launched. But I'll see you back at home in a couple of weeks. Have a safe trip home. Love, Nancy. Oh! Hey, Bess and George told me you're on a case in D.C. I hope everything is working out for you. I wish I could say the same for me. I'm planning on living here. But there's been some trouble. I think someone or something doesn't want me here. Please, Nancy, I'm afraid I can't stay here very much longer. I know you're busy, but I'm desperate. I need you to come out and investigate. Please say you will. Your friend, Sally. Yeah, that ghost dog. Reptile, thank you for the bits. Not this. Rogue Rave, thank you for the bits. Cosmos, thank you again as well. It is a very campy ending. It's pretty camp. I don't remember Sally at all. I really don't remember... That only because of that am I remembering the plot of Ghost Dogs. Which I've played twice now, I think. We don't know what the next game is gonna be, but it'll be... There'll be one next month. There'll be one next month, and, um... We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll have a discussion about it. <laughs> I love this game up until you have to make all the phone calls. Because, well, I can't blame the game for anything that happened today. I can only blame myself, to be honest. If we're being real, and y'all can blame me, that's fine. I'm the streamer. Like, I'm the streamer, you know, I'm a mess. I'm a, I'm a mess this week. So, um, yeah, y'all can blame me. That's fine. <laughs> bye, bye, NCL Graham. Thank you so much. <laughs> we take accountability. Mama, I'm driving the train. I'm driving the train. When you when you go to the bathroom and you see turds smeared on the bathroom towels, you don't call someone in, in a different state and ask them if they wiped their ass on your towels. It was you. You live in that house. <laughs> you don't go ringing someone in a different state. Final scene, Royal Tower, Alibi and Ashes, or stay tuned for danger. What is this analogy? <laughs> yeah, when you wake up and there's poo smeared all over your ceiling, you don't go ask the neighbors if they did it. That's your house, mama. That's your house, mama. Bimbers, thank you for the 33 months. I appreciate it so much. Let me get you a honk. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Glad you get to be here. <laughs> Cut the cameras. Dead ass. That's it for today. Stay tuned because um We are gonna be playing Stardew Valley. The next the rest of this week, well, Stardew Valley might not be calm because y'all can spawn enemies in that. But we're gonna have fun in that. And then um Friday we're playing a little to the left, which is like a chill vibes organization game. Kind of like unpacking, but different. 
I didn't know reusable toilet paper was a thing. But th that's my cue. Oh, no. <laughs> There's no music. <laughs> I forgot to hit the button that plays the music. Thank y'all so much for being here. Thank y'all for the bits, donations, subs, gift subs, wonderful Patreon patrons. Y'all are freaking amazing. I love being back so much. Even if the, even if I'm a mess playing these games, it's so much fun playing them with y'all. So thank y'all so much. Stay hydrated. Take care of yourselves. Um, wear your seatbelt. Look both ways before you cross the street. Love y'all so much. I will see y'all on Thursday. Bye. That was good timing. I appreciate it.